my name is Greg Wolf from Microchip, formerly MicroSemi, and I'm here at the 2019 ION GNSS show. We're uh, showcasing our Blue Sky GNSS firewall. Certainly at the show already, there's been a lot of discussion around security, specifically GNSS vulnerability protection, and how do you secure the reception of a GNSS signal? And the Blue Sky GNSS firewall is all about solving that problem for critical infrastructure providers. Blue Sky GNSS firewall is designed to insert simply in between any standard GNSS antenna and a downstream receiver. So the installation of the product is very simple. You just disconnect the cable from your downstream receiver and connect it to the firewall, and then the firewall connects to your downstream protected receiver. Very similar to a network firewall, kind of a transparent, easy connection. And what we do is then look at the live sky signal, look for any kind of anomaly, whether it's a time anomaly, a position anomaly, um, any kind of unusual activity in the data stream. All these different types of detectors are contained inside the Blue Sky GNSS firewall, which has a computer system that can be updated with new anomaly detectors over time. Another interesting feature we have with the firewall is the ability to purchase the product with our miniature atomic clock, which we call a MAC. This is a rubidium-based atomic clock that can hold time in the case of a complete absence of the GNSS signal. So, for example, let's say an antenna is knocked off the roof or for whatever reason, GNSS reception is lost. The MAC can continue to hold time and enable the Blue Sky GNSS firewall to output a full GPS signal even in the complete absence of the G GNSS Live Sky signal. In fact, we even have the option to hook up our cesium atomic clock. This is the 5071A. It is the most widely deployed cesium atomic clock in the world. And when hooked up to the firewall, it can maintain GNSS output time for well over 30 days. 